Welcome back to the RTF podcast. We refresh your feed so you don't have to. My name is Matt. His name is Marco. He's on his phone, and this is episode 76. Mark, another week we're back in the stool. Been a while, man. Back in the stool. Been a minute. Been a hot minute. Hot, hot minute. Hot. Cheers to that, bro. Cheers to that, bro. Um, yeah, we're back. Uh, since last week, we're buzzing. We're out here. Summer's ended. Yeah. Went on to the fall months. Um, Best time of the year. Hell yeah. Couple things that have been going on. Excite, uh, super exciting going into the fall. Obviously, well, the C and E we went to this year. Uh, for those aren't, that aren't in Toronto, all five of you, uh, is the Canadian National Exhibition. Is that what it is? Yeah, Canadian National Exhibition. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Um, basically, it's the biggest money grab in in Ontario in history. Has to be right. So. If you're not looking to spend 150, 200 bucks a person, um, going to the C&E, it's just not for you. Basically like a big carnival, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, uh, it's essentially what it is. Food, but it was fun. Rides. Yeah. It was fun. It's you go there. Time. You usually just go, you eat garbage, you maybe hop on a ride or two, gamble a little, and then you fuck off. Yeah. For 250 bucks. Easy. Perfect. Let's eat 300. Perfect first date spot, though. Perfect. That's yeah. the part. Because you Again, just go. Summer, yeah. Nice, blow lots of money, you Walk know. Around, you win a prize. And take home the prize, shardy. And then she goes, okay, respects. I'm going to throw this out anyways. Who cares? <laughs> and that's it, man. Yeah, seeing you was dope. A uh, little bit expensive, but, you know. I think it gets more and more expensive, bro. Every, every fucking year. Man, every year. You know what? I was going to say, so apparently this year was the longest recorded waiting time limit or that was somebody spent in line waiting for those gondolas. Or was it like four hours? Two and a half hours. That's fucked. So every they do this gondola ride that's like from the front of the entrance to like the back or whatever. Like it goes across like the whole skyline, yeah. Basically, but it was the line to wait for was two yeah, and ridiculous. a half hours, bro. Ridiculous. That's like your whole night. You gotta get there like at six, literally, and then you leave at like, and you're not even yeah, on until eight thirty nine. Yeah. Holy shit, man! It's fucking wild. Um. That's a, it just bothers me, man. I just you realize when you go to places like that and you see so many fucking people, it's like you're such a small speck, you know? You're just a small speck. And you look around, you're like, look at all these fucking people. <laughs> it's like I'm a speck of dust on this earth, you know? It's like fuck me. Yeah, obviously, bro. You know how many fucking people there are in the world? Shit, man. Not to get too philosophical. Shame, huh? But yeah, we are uh, approaching the winter or approaching the fall. Uh, summer is over. Pretty much. Yeah, it's still hot, hot weather, though. Yeah, kind of lurky, lurky hotness. It's getting a little cool. Um, let's talk about the NFL season starting. Yeah. Huge W. It's just, it, it just that time of year that all the sports start. It's like it oh. opens the floodgates. Oh, my God, man. It's just so nice. It's such a great feeling. It starts to get cooler at night. Uh, We're chill on the weekend. Don't you sweat like football. a bastard. Football's on three times a week. No, and then you got NHL, NBA. You got it all. It's that's the best time of year, man. And honestly, like we, when you think about it, when you talk about like holidays and family get-togethers, the next two months is like the biggest. Is like you know you get two major holidays in the next four months, basically, right? Was the Halloween Thanksgiving? Well, th- no, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm saying like yeah, in the next yeah, like yeah. three, three, like three months, right? Um. But, like, during the summer, there's nothing. There's all, like, long weekends and stuff. And then Easter's in spring. So, really, you have, like, a break from, like, all these holidays. Like, major, like, food, like, holidays. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? From, like, yeah. Easter all the way to Thanksgiving. And then Thanksgiving comes. You have Thanksgiving, fucking Christmas, New Year's, Christmas Eve, New Year's Day. Yeah, and it's everything all at once. It's fun, man. It's the best time of the year. It's it's legit, the legit the best time. Of, and yeah. people don't like the cold or whatever it is, but it actually is the best time of the yeah. year. Um, but yeah, football starting a couple upsets and the first week, some oh, interesting tons. shit. I already owed my one of my survivors. No, I took the Vikings. They fucking lost. Get fucked. I took Baltimore week one. Yeah, our second spot. We took Baltimore. That was a lot. Fucking Vikings. They lose to Tampa, bro, at home. 
That was a what? lock. Thing so, was stupid. Thing was a absolute lock. Keeping on um, sports for a second. Let's talk about the U.S. Open. Okay. Just wrapped up. What's yeah. the, what's the girl that won, just won? Single golf. Coco golf. American. Yeah, super sick. Her o- first. Honestly, I, I'm gonna see if I can find the highlight and I'll throw it up on screen. But mm-hmm. there was a a rally. I think it was because Djokovic played who in the finals? Medvedev. Medvedev. And there was a rally that I swear to God. The men well, or the women? Men. Yeah. That I, I, I don't think I've actually seen tennis like that in my it life. Was like 50 or 55 hits. Yeah. Yeah. Like unreal. Ridiculous. I know. Like unreal. They're like good, top level ball. Both, them athleticism wise and like stamina wise is ridiculous. Have you, has there ever been a time for the US Open that they've had that many celebrities watch? Yeah, normally the finals, like everywhere, even Wimbledon is, is pretty big. Yeah, because... Like New York, because it's... In the U.S. Open, because it's right in the middle of New York, Manhattan, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, you're expected to have all those fucking stars there. Yeah, there was tons. Yeah, and everyone, tons. everyone. Was Lil Wayne, uh, Doug, yeah, Kylie. Leo and yeah. Kylie and Timothy, Timothy, Timothy Chalamet Sh- and... Timothy Shinoma. Who else was there? Um, all kinds. There's so many yeah. There's so many that I'm not thinking of on the top of my head. But those are literally all kinds. Um, oh, uh, Jimmy Butler. Oh, he was there was a lot. Early. Kevin Durant yeah. was there. They were a little yeah. early. Jimmy Butler was there, I think, all, the whole two weeks. He was like doing, ball, he was ball boying and all that stuff. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, content yeah. was sick. That was dope. But yeah, tennis has gotten like, I don't know, not that there's a spark, but uh, like well, it's, it's interesting that you can pick it up like very easily to watch. Yeah, definitely. I, before, I feel like when, when Federer and Nadal like dominated, there wasn't. A necessity to watch some of the lower tier or mid tier contenders, but now that it's like there's so there's many great other guys, than, other than Djokovic, like there's like there's a lot there's there's a lot of movement. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when Nadal and Federer were there and Djokovic, it was like one of them were always winning. Yeah. Like now that you know Nadal is obviously hurt and whatever, and Federer's retired, like Djokovic is taking the reins obviously because now he's won 24 majors, so like the Better. most of all time so for many. the men. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a mix. And then the women, it's since Serena's left, it's been. Fucking wildfire! It does anybody can win? Yeah, the women is not set. Who's gonna win, right? And shout out to Andrescu when she won that year. That was the U.S. Open, right? Yeah. No, it was 20, the Rogers. 20, no, no, US, she won Rogers Cup and, and the, the U.S. US Open, Open 2019. She was like kind of not a one hit wonder, but holy kind of. shit, man! Kind of literally touched the stars and then came down. It was fucking crazy. Yeah, and now she's been hurt and all that shit, so it's tough. But I know it's Canadians can never get fucking lucky. Yeah, actually, speaking of Canadians getting lucky. Cool segue into we're gonna stick with the sports for a little bit here. We're fucking yeah, buzzing with the sport. Let's talk about FIBA for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man, they put themselves on the map. Good for them. Fuck. Fucking right. Oh, well, Canadian basketball is on the rise. And then they beat the U.S. for the bronze. Yeah, it was great. Well, the U.S. had a terrible outing, considering well, what considering were, yeah, but there's no like real you know, players, big there. guys. Yeah. But even their backups should be be able to beat anybody. Yeah, you know they say that they're the best players in the world. So yeah, it's I said the same thing, but you know bronze is like a Obviously, it's the first ever medal for for a Canada national team, but still a W. Yeah, how about Serbia winning gold without Jokic? I know. <laughs> Holy shit. That's man. a fucking W for that country. But it's going to be fun, man. They're going to be at Paris. Canada's going to be in the Olympics. And they're going to fight for a medal. we got some good people, bro. You know what I mean? They some... beat Spain. There's there's a bunch. And then, uh, well, so Germany, obviously, with them winning it. Serbia. That was a lot. Was that the buzzer Argentina, beater? Sh- Argentina Germany against good? U.S.? Was it a shorter buzzer beater? What was it? What? Oh, they had like a they, game winner oh, against, against the Germany? U.S.? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah it was like something like that. He yeah, had like a yeah, last-minute yeah. clutch game winner. Um, But and that's dope, man. That's good to see. No, it's, it's good you, for us. Yeah, because you can tell even like growing up how intense like the basketball culture has sort of, sort of like engulfed itself and what it's turned into. That's huge. Enough. Because like obviously you heard of it and the Raptors were big and, and things like that, but – it wasn't like everyone was interested in basketball and very few were interested in basketball. Yeah. And generally you'd be talking about hockey or NFL or something else. Growing up, it was always more en- emphasized on those because the Raptors weren't amazing. They were never winning championships. Yeah, yeah, never, yeah. Really very rarely making the playoffs. Lost, like I would say maybe 10, 15 years. You know what I mean? And I think that's what it takes to really drive it home for a city is to have that, have your main team like show out. Right, and then the addition of uh, Raptors nine hundred five, and yeah, that, yeah, that definitely it's definitely grown. Entices people and to I continue think, playing. Think, like you know, what I mean, you even look at our team and like look at all the big names that are like stars in 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 the NBA, like 
you know, yeah, uh, Alexander, J- Jamal, you know, Alexander, Alexander, Jamal Murray didn't even play. Exactly. Like, Wiggins didn't even play. Like, like, there's definitely some big names that are Tristan definitely, Thompson. Be, yeah, there's definitely big names that'll be in uh, at the next Olympics, which will be fun. Um, but sticking on uh, basketball, I want to—I don't know if you saw today that the NBA uh, came out with um, that they're going to vote. I'm going to talk about voting to make it a rule that you can't rest two stars in the same game. Oh sure, because you remember how we were talking about we were talking about um, like resting your players, and, yeah, like, keeping um, that shit, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're going to vote so that you can't rest two of your superstars in the same game, so that if people go watch you play and you paid. Fucking hundreds of dollars yeah. to watch you play. You can't, you know, you can't. using it as a rest day. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's awesome. Great. Like, obviously, you want to. Um, it's all toss and turn because you want to keep the players safe and this and that and that's all. But at the same time, bro, they're getting paid for so many games. It's like you got to play at least, yeah, like, a, a good of percentage games, of definitely. it. You know what I mean? Like at least like eighty percent, ninety percent of the games. So people come to see you. Like if I went to go watch exactly like we said before, LeBron or whoever, yeah. and then they sit LeBron and AD, it's like okay, fuck, I spent two hundred dollars on a ticket. What the fuck am I doing here? Like literally, you know what I mean? And it's, right. Uh, so I got to be more strategic. It's a sick rule. Adam Silver came with that shit. Yeah, I think it's NBA and NBA and the Players Association. It might be the, the uh, NBA PA. I'm not too sure, but yeah, they're rec- they're they're voting. I think uh, Wednesday. Till I confirm it. Mm-hmm. No, that's dope. Let's see if they pass it. That's sick. I want to move over to socials for a second. Um, that the government of Canada is going to be banning TikTok on government phones. Yeah, I heard something like that. Yeah, so I, I read into it a little. Um, see, this is the thing. Because like of this, work phones? Gov- like government gov- work phones? Yeah, government work phones because of security reasons. Yeah, of course. Which makes sense. But for them to ban it, I feel like they said that they were going to ban TikTok across Canada. Mm-hmm. For the for, for a, a long period of time, I guess it's still in discussion, legislation, whatever the fuck it's called. But what's more interesting is what security breach does it pose? What like I re- I was trying to read into it and I, I couldn't really gr- grab it and I was like, what's the serious security breach that this is posing? Is it, it like must be some sort of geolocation or some sort of location? I don't services. know, man. But it, it. it's a little iffy with the fucking. Well, I mean, when you think about it, don't don't like I, I'm not a TikTok user. You are. Don't when you when you're looking at you know whatever they're called reels or whatever the fuck they're called on TikTok. Doesn't it tailor kind of more like obviously to what you you watch, but doesn't it go based off of your location too? The 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 content that's thrown at. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Remember we were in thing, we were literally in France in Paris. And I'm getting only French-speaking TikToks. Yeah. So it has to do something with location services. I would only expect it to be that. Yeah. Which only makes sense. But yeah, you are right. You were getting only... Your, for you, Only it was, French. was only French. It was only French-speaking. And then when we were in Italy, it was only Italian. Yeah. Yeah. It was very... like It was a mix of English, too, but it was mostly yeah, French. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, why the fuck am I getting so many French TikToks? Because it was thrown at you because of where you were. Because I was in France. Because you don't Paris. even realize that this app like is like geolocation. Egg. Yeah, you just think, oh, I'll, 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 these people that are on my for you page are just famous everywhere. Yeah, these are just the top of the top. Everywhere. Yeah, that's why, man, that fucking app is fucked. But it's not. It's every app. It's not just that app. It's every app that does that. Yeah, I bet. But that's I bet. why. That's why government officials and like. Where you were always using like at the time Blackberries because they were the hardest yes. in terms of security. Yes, yeah. The, what, did we have this combo? Yeah, we, had a, we talked the, about it a little bit. The Blackberry Torch and yeah. things like that. Um, yeah, Canada has joined the U.S. and the EU in enacting a sweep, uh, in enacting a sweeping ban preventing TikTok from being installed on government issued mobile devices. As Western officials take action over the Chinese owned video sharing app, Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, did not rule out further action. Yeah. And there must be some sort of like international like bullshit with Asia and what they think the app is probably doing here especially with the US spies and yeah probably. especially with the US it has to do something mm-hmm. like that like that there's people that get paid big bucks that probably look into it man that's probably why it's getting banned but For I mean, it sure. makes sense it makes and sense and like at the end of the day why the fuck are these apps going to be on on a on your work phone anyways like if you're not somebody in social media if you're working for the Canadian government why do you have TikTok on your work phone you're obviously going to have a separate phone yeah that didn't if you ever use well, it, Nelly, uh, fucking you know what I mean? Yeah, it makes sense. I don't know, man. The social, the platforms are taking over, and like you, you hear influencers coming out on their platform saying, "This may be my last TikTok. Thank you so much," and things like that. But 
Canada to ban it is kind of interesting. Well, if they were to ban it nationwide, not just for government issued phones, if they were to ban it is not as significant as if the U.S. were to ban it. Because yeah, simply because of the creator fund, number yeah. one, and there's big, much bigger influencers that use that um, that use that platform. platform to make money and stuff. Of course, exactly. Like we so, can do here. Yeah. So yeah. people are literally living off the creator fund. There, they're mm. they're supplying themselves, like they're providing for themselves through the creator fund. But here, it's sort of like a, I don't know how to put it. It's like a detour kind of route that you can't get the creator fund, so you have to go through sponsorship. And redirect them to other long form social content. Yeah, it's like a which segue. is fucking so stupid. Yeah, which is so stupid. And I've said this for so long, maybe because I'm passionate about it. I'm in marketing and whatever. But to have success on one platform and not be rewarded for it is so detrimental to people that put so much time and effort into a yeah, single it's, platform. It's like it throws it. It's like it. It's like it shits on it. Yeah, it's like fuck, man. You you put so much time. I'm not even saying this from personal experience. I'm saying in general. Think about how many people put in day and night and work and time and I know I can name off fucking bare people yeah that put in time into TikTok or Instagram and it's like okay I gotta get these guys to my website or I gotta get them to my YouTube or I gotta get them to my because YouTube pays the big bucks Instagram doesn't yeah. pay any money like you know what I mean I have to or I have to get sponsorship deals so now I gotta do a PR campaign and it could be with anything too it could be with like people that are striving to you know move, uh, producers directors musicians anybody that wants to get on these platforms that use social media it's 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 detrimental but it's it's like it's demeaning it's it sucks that you have these people in the states that are getting paid to do what exactly. they do meanwhile up here it's like you know what i mean you put you gotta work so much work. Work. Yeah. yeah you gotta work double you know what i mean exactly exactly well nowadays it's all about attention and how long you can retain it for and level of engagement speaking of tons of engagement i want to talk about um for all the dogs Coming out that will be out just after the release of this episode on Friday, September twenty second. I think we talked we talked about it the last the last episode, or it was supposed to release. It was supposed to release, but he never said that he was releasing it. Yeah, that, he never said. Yeah, so that, people that, speculated because he he announced the album and he came up with the name and everything. Yeah, that he was going to release it that same week, but it, he never came out with a release date. Yeah, exactly. This so this is what I think. First of all, I think. Obviously, the picture Adonis drew of that little dog is going to be the cover art. Yeah. He released that already. Yeah. yeah. Um, which, when you get older, is kind of going to be so sick, no? Like, when he gets older? When he, yeah, of course. That's going to be like, fuck, if it sells, if it goes platinum, if it goes diamond, if it goes whatever, that's going to be so sick. Yeah, it's his cover art. That's dope. Uh, that guy's probably drowning in, uh, the yeah, kid's drowning in fucking him. gazillion dollars anyways. A anyways. Um, yeah, so they kind of baited us with... Um, when it was going to come out, it was supposed to come out the first yeah. week of September, second week of September, whatever it was, and everybody was looking forward to it, trying to figure it out. And then Yachty came out and said, um, nobody said it was going to come out, nobody confirmed anything, so why did everybody think it was going to come out? Okay, regardless. It's supposed to be coming out, or it's confirmed September 22nd. Okay. Um, which will be shortly after this episode releases. Um, and I'm excited for it. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, me the too. CLB was good. Her loss was great, in my opinion. Uh, CLB has some some hitters, not as good as her loss. And then what came out after that? I don't remember. There was one more that came out after. Honestly, that. never mind. The what? Honestly, never mind. Or was that before her loss? I think it was. Let me see the discography. The discography. Well, one released when we were away. I think that was that was honestly, honestly never, never mind. mind. And then her loss came out, yeah, twenty twenty two. Her loss is the most recent. Yeah, has yeah. To. CLB and then honestly never mind, and then her oh. loss. Yeah, which I'm gonna be honest with you. In three years, I'm gonna look at the time before that. So before CLB, Scorpion. Um, I think it was Scorpion. Yeah, well, there's the Dark Lane demo tapes. Dark Lane demo tapes. So, but that wasn't like a true album. No. Neither was Care Package that he released in 2019. Yeah, not like original. Yeah, it was Scorpion. So, 2018. Wow. So, in three years of that time, like, this is a lot of, of, uh, runtime. Like, this is a lot of music, right? In the last 
two years. Well, you look at some other artists, they haven't released fucking albums. They release albums like what? Once like every post, three, four, or five years. Like Post Malone or Travis Scott. Travis Scott released Astro World in 2017. They released Utopia in 2023. Yeah. This year, Utopia came out. Right? So, it's like a lot. It, I, you can't to produce that music so fast as... And to have them be hitters, right? So that you you know he's they're working. always going to be hitters. You know he's working hard, right? So it's not uh, it's not no like lollygagging around. So I, I really hope this is uh, I really hope for the dogs is going to hit. I think it's going to hit. I'm I think it'll it, hit. I'm hoping it's going to be more rap and hip hop focused rather than like uh, R and I mean, by the title, you would think. Yeah. Like more hard rap, like harder rap, little hip hop. You know, what and I mean? then there's going to be a lot of features on it too. That's what I heard a rumor out. That there's going to be quite a bit of features on it. Um, I'm ex- hopefully it hits because like we've been we've been wanting some good music lately. Yeah, I mean the beginning of the summer was a little bit you know disappointing. The music has gotten better as the summer's gone on. I have to say that the last couple you know last month or two, in terms of, like music coming out has has definitely been has been better. So we'll see. Yeah, hopefully. And I'm liking the way he can they can collab on like UK rappers like Central C yeah. and Dave and. Stormzy and things like that. Yeah, they're huge so right cool. now too. They're coming up. They're well, I mean, massive. they're already huge, but they've they've gotten even bigger now. Massive, bro. Yeah. You don't even understand how big they are. Like selling all like the O2 Arena um, and yeah, thing, big. Wembley. Like it's good to see though that different, like you know, a different type of music. We got to change it up here. We're always this is the same fucking shit. And it's sick to hear like their slang and how different it is from like Toronto slang and whatever shit like that. But it's dope. Yeah. Um. Switching gears for a second and talking about the UK, the Sidemen charity match. I don't know if you've seen the clips of it on TikTok or whatever. The soccer game? Yeah. It's crazy, man. Okay, so obviously it's a circuit. Every it's year so, this... I didn't even know that was a thing. They, they had, they've done it. I don't know how many years they've done it for. A couple of years. But every year it's a fucking circus. It's a circus. I, I know. I saw I saw clips. Like a circus. And every year the streamers yeah. get better. Yeah. <laughs> the streamers get more... And, and like energetic and shit like that and cleats up tackles and it gets all crazy but one thing I saw there was a video I'm gonna see if I can find I'll throw it up on screen there's a video that shows them going into the locker rooms right and it was it's kind of mesmerizing to see all those big streamers YouTubers yeah, influencers all in one place because I'm watching them all go into a locker room in this video. Like, they're all walking in. It was the first time walking in. And it's like, Mr. Beast, KSI, all the sidemen, Kai Sinat, Duke Dennis, Speed. Speed. Like, all these people. There's, um, off the top of my head, I'm missing. Chunks I'm missing there. Up. Chunks, Philly. Yeah. Uh, and and Panito. Uh, uh, what the fuck? They call him Harry Panito? No. <laughs> yeah, I know you thought. Harry? Yeah, Harry. No, what the fuck's his name? Henry? Yeah, whatever. They call him, like, Spicy P or something. What's his name? I don't know. Right. Fuck. Anyways, like, all of them together combined, they, they're they just in the same place. And I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, think about not only the total number of subscribers. In that little cohort. In that one room that they all culminate to have. But think about how much revenue has come they from in. YouTube yeah. just to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and Mr. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is the big one. Yeah. Mr. Beast is the absolutely massive one. And and you know what? Speed being a streamer, having, I think he has 16 th- or 19 th- million streams. Uh, 19 million subscribers. I could be wrong. It could be like 13 million. But somewhere around those lines, it's like, holy fuck, bro. And these guys are all so young. And they look like just regular dudes. They, they, they are regular dudes. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like- produce content, man. They get big. You produce content. They were, they were, they did it at a time where fuck. And it's you're not like into it. Yeah, it's not like you're Cristiano Ronaldo where you're training for soccer every single day. They make content, which is respectable. It's hard of course, work. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But like, I don't know. It was just mesmerizing to see them all in the same spot and think about, okay, how much fucking revenue have these guys gotten from? I'm pretty sure YouTube is obviously it's part of Google now, but like more than a billion dollars. Some hard work too, right? Not even just have revenue, but how many hours they put in, you know, to. How many hours they put in to make a name for themselves. So, the engagement, like ju- that, just goes to show an event like that can get so much engagement. And as a collective, when you bring all those influencers together, everybody posts on their own. Imagine how many people were there. Exactly, and if you think about it from a viewer standpoint, a viewership standpoint, 
It's more. It's definitely more than the Super Bowl. It's definitely more than any big event, the Oscars, the fucking any live national televised event, literally anything. It's the biggest because if you think about it, they get what? Even if the Super Bowl gets a billion views, a billion people watching live, it's like this over time gets fucking way more than that. Combined over all the all the videos, all the platforms. Oh, you're talking about like on an individual scale. Yeah. Like what yeah. the people that are there at playing, what they get, what they do individually on yeah. their platform. Well, if you think about what's distributed from it, if I had to say, okay, I've seen one piece of content from that event, the number of eyes on it is like infinite. It's like so many, it's so much more than a fucking Super Bowl or or yeah, the Oscars. If you're talking about live, if you're talking about live, events, no, live for yeah, sure. It's not even close. Yeah, yeah. Live, it's not even close. Super Bowl. Has but you're talking about time. what it, what the the amount of viewers that the people in the event like the streamers in that event get over the span of time yeah yeah like afterwards no, no. it like the number of eyes on that event is is astronomical compared yeah. to the super bowl yeah. but live obviously tuning in is definitely not even no, close. no. super yeah. bowl wouldn't oh, it blows that out of the water yeah, yeah well even fucking world cup final but yeah everything everything the oscars yeah, even yeah. probably blows out of the water in terms of live um but that's kind of interesting one stupid topic i want to talk about um this is pretty funny so McDonald's is going to discontinue self-serving soda stations because of the high theft. That was just a fucking, fucking pop cost. Bro, this is my bone to pick with these guys. <laughs> this is my bone to pick. The, you're fucking, okay. I get it. If somebody takes three iced teas and four Fruitopias and one for the goal... I get it. But you're McDonald's. Like, you're, you're McDonald's. You're not the, Joe Schmo's burger shop. Their loss has to be, like, astronomical. It has to, to be that. in the yeah. hundreds or yeah, millions. thousands of, yeah, like the hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. worth. That's the only way it's like, okay, I guess it does add up. But at the same time, you're McDonald's. Yeah, in comparison, like, in comparison to the amount of locations they have. What it must add up to, and how they calculate that amount of theft, yeah, is like how would they calculate? Astonishing. It? How they calculate? I don't it'd know. be it'd be number of cups sold. Yeah, and, and you'd be by the amount of liters that are in that fucking thing by yeah. how many cups sold. Yeah, and then the residue or whatever is supposed to be remaining is theft, and they calculate how much I guess per liter or per fucking whatever. I think when I was to work at sell it at, yeah, when I used to work at Chipotle, it was um. I think they were like $70 for one of those big things of syrup for Coke and depending on the size of them, 70, a hundred bucks. Okay. And that shit would last like three days, four days worth of service, like three, three days, let's okay. say, right? Which is probably like, what, fucking 200, four, two, 300 drinks. Right, so it's not. It has to do something with that, and then their contract with uh, Coca Cola. Coca Cola. That's probably a big one too. That's probably the the main reason. But you're McDonald's. I know you're multi billion dollar. Like you're fucking McDonald's. <laughs> like you're not in. You're not Joe Schmo. You're not Mary Browns. You're not Popeyes. You're McDonald's. You're literally no. the biggest, probably food chain. You don't have the most locations because everybody knows that's You know what? I, I don't. I, I think that's. I don't think they are the biggest fast food chain in the world. I think it's something different. They don't have the most locations. That's Subway for sure. So I, I think. I yeah. Know, and no, there Subway. Okay. That. that. Yeah, yeah. It's I've said on the pod before. I think. Isn't that fucked? Yeah. For a sandwich. No, they're not even a sandwich. Just think, it's Subway's the fucking. I think it's fast food chain. Yeah, because I think in they, the world. Yeah, because they have. And a, it sucks. No, somebody's <laughs> good, man. Somebody's good. No, Mr. What's Sub your what's so, your go so much to, superior? What's your go-to Subway sub? Oh, I don't know, man. Fuck, I changed it up. Normally chicken teriyaki. Has to be. Ugh. The fucking rubber roasted chicken, it's like I fucking take off my shoe and eat it. There's like fucking rubber. <laughs> the uh I think the chicken teriyaki is actually made out of rubber. That's what they said. I think it it's made out of tires, uh, repurposed tires. What are you? Points. You're a tuna guy. You're a tuna guy. You. I hate tuna. my life. I hate my life. Bro, tuna? Okay, so I'll break it down for you. Foot long Italian herb and cheese with cheddar cheese and toasted. Yeah, you need cheese toasted. Yeah. I was never a toast guy, but a toasted guy, but then I started doing it and yeah. I can never go back. Cheddar cheese and toasted. Tuna. A 
fuck ton of lettuce. Mm-hmm. Put the most lettuce. I don't want it to no close. Tomatoes. No tomatoes. Cucumbers. Chipotle Southwest. M- mayo. Uh, smoky honey mustard and sub sauce. Just lettuce. And cucumbers. Cucumbers. No yeah, you fucking don't do banana tomatoes. peppers. No, you don't do tomatoes. No don't tomatoes. Do I'm not fucking... The I'm sauces not... I could fuck up. Honey mustard, chipotle, and, and sub sauce. sauce. I'm not here for the theatrics, well, I bro. guess you don't need the, no red don't need the mayo because the mayo's in the tuna. There you go. There you go. You're figuring it out. But yeah, the tuna... tastes good. Apparently, fuck. apparently, I think I've said this on the podcast before, but Subway tuna is not tuna, no, but a can't... mix of various... Fish? Hold on. Like fucking Nemo and Dorian fucking This shit? is the Washington... No. Yeah, the Washington Post. Subway's tuna is not tuna, but a mixture of various concoctions... A lawsuit alleges. You're not even eating tuna, bro. You're Who not eating tuna, and I'm not eating chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what the Who fuck? knows what the fuck? And that's why they're so easy to fucking put up a location. Buddy, they're Slap fucking up. Spokes, their they're... spokesperson fucking is a rapist, and he's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. What a guy, bro. Oh, my God. What a fucking guy. Ooh, that, Jake from State Farm? No, not Jake. Yeah, Jake State from Farm. State Not from <laughs> Jake from State Farm, bro. What the fuck is his name? Tony from Subway. No. Oh, <laughs> let me get a meatball there. Oh man, fucking... it's that guy that lost all that Jake, fucking weight. I think it's Jake from Subway. It might be Jake, but it's not Jake from State Farm. Jake from Subway. Fuck, we need a fact checker. Jared. Jared from Subway. I told ah. you, it Jake from State Farm, and this guy's a fucking rapist. Unbelievable. Child sex tourism and possessing child pornography. Imagine yeah, he's a child rapist, a fuck, man, or a child predator. Fuck. What a fucking... We, should do, a top five, we should do our top five fucking... Child predators? No, fast foods. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast... Oh, what the takes, fuck? <laughs> RTF takes a dark turn. Top of, we're bringing down the top five child predators. Number one, Jared Fogel from Subway. <laughs> all the, all the viewers the fuck? All the viewers fuck off Everyone oh, just fucks up <laughs> lie, the sorry, We love you guys We love all three of you guys We're out here Ah uh, fuck Okay that's it bro That's the episode We're fucking out of here Ah uh, man uh, Fuck the top five Top five the Next next week we'll be talking Top five child molesters And uh, <laughs> Five best serial killers In fucking has- human history what the fuck? Um, okay, that was it for us. That was episode 76. Thanks for reaching, dog. No problem. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Yeah, so RTF merch is still available. Hoodies only. No more of the exclusive t-shirts and uh, long sleeves. The hoodies are available. Uh, make sure you check us out on YouTube, our clips, uh, on socials, uh, on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We post there daily. Our YouTube shorts as well. We love posting those. Um yeah, thank you for listening again. If you're listening on audio platforms, really appreciate that. Mark, thank you. This was episode 76. And it's on you today. Bro? No, why, why are we out? What did we do? We refresh your feed. So you're not- yeah.